Hey everybody, it's Ray here again with another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Riverstone 37 REL. This is a rear living room mid bunk loft model. We'll take a few minutes, walk you through the inside of the coach and then the outside of the coach. Again, rear living room model. So you have a height of bed sofa in the back, theater seat with heat, massage, lighted cup holders, uh, power theater seat also on the left side there. Nice big Sony flat screen TV, sound bar, DVD stereo system, electric fireplace. Has the upgraded new Furion oven with the glass door and light built in. Three burner stove top. Convection microwave. The large 20 cubic foot residential refrigerator. A lot of really nice cabinetry throughout the coach. This is real stained hardwood cabinets. It's not the lower priced lumber core with a veneer wrap over it which is what most RVs are, and it's good, but this is kind of taking it to the next level. This is a full-time rated RV, so if you are looking to sell your home and travel the country, live in a new RV, this is definitely one of the units to do it in. Uh, this particular furniture is in the Greystone furniture that they offer, and this is also in the Danville wood decor that they offer. So you have a couple different furniture colors, two different woods, the tile pattern floor in this particular unit. Uh, they also offer a wood looking floor. Overall, really pretty unit. Um, one of the big differences here between a lot of other brands, this is a wide body. A lot of units are just eight foot wide. So it's a wide body unit, eight and a half feet wide. Uh, three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls are 16 insulation factor. Most RVs are two inches or less and have an R11 or less sidewall insulation factor. A uh, little sofa room here. This again will make into a bed. A uh, window back there. A uh, little dresser area over here. It's got kind of a little desk down there. Electric box, some breakers and fuses. Drawers, hanging closet, TV hookups there. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these videos. Been trying to update a lot of the new units as they come in. Drawer built into the step there, central vac and dustpan vac right there. Nice handle going up the stairway here. Ladder built into the wall for the loft area. So when we come up here a little bit, we have some controls and TV hookups there. A fantastic fan control for the fantastic fan right there. But you have a little loft area here for another kid to sleep on. Air conditioning and furnace controls are right here. This is a multi-zone control. So you have three air conditioners the way this unit was ordered. All whisper quiets so you don't see the big square in the roof. Uh, but they are nicer, upgraded, high performance, 15,000 BTU air. Better porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice big one piece fiberglass shower. Plenty of room to get in and out of the bathtub there, or the shower there, uh, and get dressed. In the master bedroom, uh, this one was ordered with carpet. You could do away with that if you don't like carpet in your bedroom. You've got a dresser and fireplace you'll see as we kind of get around there a little bit. TV hookups. Air conditioning is all ducted through the ceiling. Heat is ducted through the floor. Queen 60 by 80 bed, upgraded mattress, electric outlet, USB chargers on both sides of the bed. Bed raises up for extra storage under there. 
nice mirrors also that uh, slide open here kind of hiding the washer dryer in the unit stackable washer dryer there's a little cubby here and they offer a little uh, electric wall heater if you want to do the electric wall heater it takes up this cubby right here and then replaces the fireplace that's built into the dresser so you get a couple cabinet doors there instead of the fireplace and then you get the little wall heater over on the side little sit down seat there that actually lifts up makes into a, a storage area underneath of there You've got a little sliding uh, drawer that's kind of hidden behind the fireplace right there soft close cabinet doors and drawers so really nice full extending ball bearing hidden hinges on all your cabinet work windows on both sides of the bed do open up you have day night roller shades on both sides of the bed too uh, a lot of brands take away the day part when you get to the master bedroom but they'll do possibly day night roller shades downstairs um, one other thing is a solar package here there's a control for it right there and Standard now as part of the ultimate package is a 160 watt solar panel on the Riverstone, but you can opt in for two more solar panels if you want to. Overall, really nice higher line bunk model fifth wheel. A lot of great features packed into it. Um, we're going to take a few minutes, take you through the outside of the coach. Kind of show you about that part and get a little more into some of the construction information there but beautiful mid bunk model here uh, don't forget to again like share and subscribe uh, we're going on to the outside now all right guys we are on the outside now of this beautiful riverstone 37 rel i'm going to start here in the back section and walk you around through to the front um, new fiberglass rear cap for the 19 and a half version. So you have LED taillights and running lights all across the coach, but you also have backup lights. A lot of fifth wheels do not have reverse lights. Being so far away from the rear end of the truck, I would definitely recommend if you don't have them, possibly try to put on an aftermarket set. It will help you a lot. Um, this unit was ordered with the camera security system slash monitor system while you're driving down the road so you have a backup camera on the rear that actually works while you're driving down the road too it's an observation camera um, you have an inch and a quarter bike rack hitch on the back of the coach on the corner back here there is a powered power cord reel so you can push a button it rolls in and out um, underneath we're going to take a quick look down here you can see spare tire mounted under the bottom section Really nice, heavy-duty, sectionalized underbelly here. Uh, Riverstone has a great construction video I would recommend you watch. Um, right there is the ice maker drain for the ice maker built into the uh, freezer. And you also have a low-point water drain down there for fresh water tank system. This unit was also ordered with the slide-out awning covers to cover the tops of the slides. You can see those there now riverstone offers paint job options too on the regular riverstone this is the outside graphic we're going to pan over here a little bit i have another riverstone over here and that is one of their paint jobs so you have a choice when ordering the legacy model which is what that one is comes standard with one of four paint jobs on the regular riverstone come standard with the outside graphic package here and you can opt in for paint if you do the travelers package it's called it'll actually upgrade the brakes on the standard riverstone to disc brakes and also upgrade the tires to goodyear tires or you can do each individually if you want to uh, around the side here you can kind of see the wheels there, the trailer Equiflex suspension there, midship turn signals, great feature when you're driving down the road. The guy beside you can see you are trying to get over when you turn on your turn signals. Stove exhaust there, the bunk slide there. Up here you have your furnace exhaust, 
on-demand water heater. The docking station area here, the inverter for the fridge is right there. Outside shower, battery disconnect, your gray galley and black handles, uh, some inline water drains, winterizing stuff, cable hookups, all done right here in the docking station. Also, these lights that you're going to see out here, these are motion lights. You can turn them on, turn them off, or turn them in motion mode. So when you actually open the door, the light will turn on by itself. Pretty cool feature. Thicker baggage doors. This is huge on your full timers for insulation in the heat and also in the winter for the cold. You have thicker baggage doors. You're going to also again notice thicker walls. Three and a quarter inch thick wall. You know, extra inch and a quarter of wall thickness there helping keep the sound out, helping keep the heater cold out. So really nice upgrade in wall construction. Down below is your hydraulic reservoir for your jacks and your uh, slides. Nice floor throughout the storage area there. You have some uh, jack controls and switching there. Nicely finished off area here. Battery compartment uh, comes standard with one battery from the factory right now as part of that ultimate package. Um, there's room to do three more if you want. Uh, so that is something that you can do. Those are slide out trays. Um, Couches RV Nation actually provides you with two batteries. So they would put in a second battery on the camper for you. Uh, that is part of the package that they offer on the units. Kind of stand back here so you can see a little bit better down the side of the coach. Three slides on this side, one on the other side. Uh, it might get a hair noisy here, guys. The furnace sounds like it's getting ready to kick on. But um, beautiful new front cap also for the 19 and a half. You got LED lights there. And you're also going to have the Trail Air hitch pin box. This is a really nice optional upgrade that I do recommend you get. You'll see the weight of the camper will be posted right here. This particular camper, 15,935 pounds the way it sits. There's also going to be a weight sticker over here. Tells you some basic specs of the coach. Uh, the coach has two 8,000 pound axles. So you got 16,000 pounds of carrying capacity on the axles. All the weight of an RV is not on these axles. That hitch pin there holds a few thousand pounds when you're hooked to your truck. These legs down here, again, hold a few thousand pounds when it's sitting on the ground. So there's the reason for the way the axles and the hitch pins and things are all set up. Uh, this particular coach was built 214 of 19. So very freshly built compared to when this video was shot. Uh, tire size 215.75R. 17.5 H rated tires. Down in the storage compartment area there, you're going to have the LP generator prep package. That is an option, so you don't have to get it if you don't want. You'll just get a bigger storage box there if you just want storage. Now kind of looking down this side here, you can see the washer dryer vent right there awning led light strip built in this was also ordered with the second awning which has an led light strip built in down there down below there is a propane hookup for uh, outside grill or something if you wanted to do that again part of the security camera system slash driving system you'll have a camera on each corner of the front so one on each side shining down the side of the coach so that when you're driving down the road you can see down both sides you can see down the rear end uh, also two 30 pound propane tanks right there behind that door the other side of the storage compartment area right here the central vac can be used out here also and you have a light switch electric outlet and these little panels will actually slide open for maintenance purposes. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to remove some panels. They just slide back and forth for maintenance. 
Uh, there's a couple outside speakers here, so you can listen to the radio inside or out. Midship turn signal again, electric outlet on the outside there. The nicer, more ride step going in and out of the coach. There is also a light down there. Large folding handle. You also have the keyless entry door lock with the little remote control. Now this basically unlocks the deadbolt. It has nothing to do with the handle lock. So if you do use this feature and you leave your keys inside, make sure the handle is actually unlocked. Outside TV feature, this is a nice option that uh, was ordered on this one. Uh, if you don't do the TV from the factory, the compartment's still there, all the hookups are still there, um, but you don't have to get their TV if you want to buy your own. Nice frameless dual pane windows. The dual pane windows are standard on the Riverstone, uh, whether it's the regular or the Legacy. That is a really nice upgrade again for the full-time RVer. That allows them to better insulate the camper a little bit, better sound deadening, less moisture and condensation issues. Um, so a lot of benefits to having those dual pane windows. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, just a quick video here on that Riverstone. If you have any questions or are interested in actually purchasing one, please feel free to give me a call. One of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Again, Ray here with Couches RV Nation. Thanks for checking out my videos.